Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome back to my workshop. And today I'm going to be tackling the electrics on my boom arm. Now I've built a boom arm so that I can have the cables coming from the ceiling down rather than trailing along the floor to reduce the trip hazards. I want to have a main socket that I can plug my power tools into and I want to also have a light that I can move around which is what I'm going to use this table lamp for. So let's get tinkering. Now the first thing I need to do is to remove the base from this table lamp. I'm going to keep this light on this pole with this flexible piece because it will um, allow me to angle it as I need it for whatever work I'm pointing at. Now these two pieces of the base I'm not going to throw away because I have a use for but first I have to drill out the center. Before I can get on with the electrics I need to make a small modification to the boom arm. Using the lamp base just provides a little bit more clearance for the boom arm. In an ideal world, the pivot point wouldn't be a bolt, it would be a hollow shaft and then the mains cables and other services could run down the middle of that shaft and they would never get snagged. But I'm not after engineering perfection, so I'm just going to cut a hole in the ceiling to the left of the box for the cables to come out of. And I think by putting it there, they're unlikely to snag on the boom arm itself. There's a double socket in the loft, so I'm making the hole big enough for plugs to pass through. The mains voltage is going to be accessed via one of these kettle plugs. They're called kettle plugs because you get them on kettles in the UK. They're rated at 10 amps. Now I want to make sure I use this end with the mains on and not this end because if I use this end these pins would be live. If I touch them more than likely I'd kill myself. At 10 amps and 240 volts it means I can run tools up to 2400 watts which is more than enough for all power tools. The end of this light's got a thread in it and I found that this carriage bolt has the same thread so I can screw it into there like that. So I shall create a hole in the boom arm, push the carriage bolt through it and then I'll be able to thread this into the carriage bolt. I need a way to turn the light on and off and I'm going to use the original switch but to do that I need to first rewire it thought it was soldered but it's not, it's crimped. So I'll just cut it off and I'll solder the new wires on. There's almost certainly some regulation that says you shouldn't do this. So think of this as entertainment only. I wire up the plug and then add a magnet to the outside. I 3D printed these little plates which are going to hold the wires in place. The boom arm extends everywhere in my workshop. From the cabinet saw and the band saw all the way into the corner to the bench sander and the pillar drill. the main workbench, even over to my electronic station and also over to my workmate. Now I still have more to do on this boom arm but let's call this phase one complete. I've got electric light which I can move around the workshop and I can angle and I've got an easy switch to turn it on and off which is also magnetic. I also have a mains 10 amp supply which I can connect to my power tools and there'll be another video on this um, in a few weeks time about how this is going to work in practice. That's also magnetic. So if you've enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this then please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.